I mean, let's turn now to the snow and the misery. It's piling up across the Great Lakes region. Six feet of snow already on the ground. Another three feet possible today. And people lucky enough to be able to get out of their homes are facing a very slippery commute this morning. All right, now to that unprecedented November snow crippling the Buffalo region. This morning, the death toll is rising, and there are new worries over what is going to happen when all that snow starts to melt. But first, something not to be thankful for, this bad weather. It has already caused major disruptions for millions of holiday travelers here in the east. Heavy rain and snow, storms in the Midwest and the Pacific Northwest as well. Did you catch that? 21 degrees outside, and that is headed down, that temperature. It was 60 in New York City on Sunday, 21 today, getting colder, snow on the way. Wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's I hate this. Yeah, I, I really do. Moving to the weather now, parts of Texas dealing with record-breaking snow this morning. And Al's here now. That's a powerful system. And we think we may be seeing it head east now. That's right. We're going to be watching this thing make its way through the Gulf, and then it sets up along the eastern seaboard. A wide area of the east is bracing for a treacherous combination of snow, ice, and rain. And Al, we could be seeing substantial travel problems over the weekend. That's right. And into the beginning of next week, because it's not just one, but it's two storms. But let's get right to our top story, that huge storm making a big mess on the roads for anyone out there driving. And that includes our crew out in New Jersey right now. We'll check it with them in just a moment. And they don't appear to be kidding about <laughs> no, this storm. No. Take a look outside. We've got flurries out on the plaza already. This is really nothing. This is just a tease. No, fast forward 24 hours, and they say this could be one of the worst storms this area has ever seen. Really scary. <laughs> anyway, weather is our top story. Can you believe we're at it again? I say we, Boston, has barely had time to clean up from the last storm. They still have huge piles of snow everywhere. Now they're expecting up to another foot, a potentially paralyzing blizzard when it's all said and done. New month, but not much has changed with the weather across New England. A nasty storm slamming the region, making for a slippery commute today. And NBC's Dylan Dreyer is back at her post in Boston. Dylan, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Yeah, it's Monday, so it's no surprise. I'm talking about more snow. We saw widespread three to six inches of snow fall this weekend out of this system, and it made an absolute mess of the roadways. There were several multi-car pileups over the weekend, like this one in Rolla, Missouri, where 25 vehicles were involved in this crash. Over in Virginia, icy roads were responsible for more than 100 crashes there, and nearly every state in the country saw snow of some kind this weekend. In Massachusetts, it was a dangerously close call for a youth hockey team when the roof collapsed during practice. No one was injured, but it's a scary reminder of just how much snow is here. So far in Boston, we have picked up 103.9 inches of snow this season. All it'll take is just 3.8 more inches of snow for this to be the all-time snowiest winter ever on record for the city of Boston. And right where I am now, this is actually the traditional route for the famous St. Patrick's Day Parade in Southie. The route of the parade and even the parade itself is actually in jeopardy right now because there is just so much snow that they don't have room for a parade. So, but as long as we're uh, talking about records, Al, when do you think we are going across that threshold of 107.6 inches? Do you think Thursday is today? I think it's Thursday, but I think it's going to be awfully close, Dylan, before it changes over to rain. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dylan. Let's show you where we're looking at this next storm system. It's getting itself together out in the southwest. And so as it pushes east, we've got to picked up by that jet stream and bringing with it the chance of blizzard watches, blizzard warnings, winter storm watches and warnings as we stretch across the coast. Winter storm warnings for Vail, Colorado, one to two feet of snow in the mountains. We move through early Tuesday morning into Tuesday morning for the rush hour Chicago. Travel delays, one to two inches, ice of about a tenth of an inch. As we get into Tuesday afternoon, it spreads into Cleveland. Tuesday night, we're New York City, New York, Boston, Massachusetts, one to two inches of snow, changing over from snow to sleet. Again, it's going to be awfully close, but then we've got an icy mix from Syracuse to Boston early Wednesday morning. It's going to be a mess. Snowfall totals generally out to the Rockies, one to two feet, about three to six inches north of New York City and Boston, one to two inches generally there, but then another storm system coming in on Thursday, and we're going to get a whiplash Wednesday. Uh, places like Atlanta, near 70 degrees on Wednesday, 30 degrees on wow. Thursday. Oh, my God. Note to self, go to Atlanta. <laughs> Wednesday only.